DC High presents Freaky Foam Friday. The game. Welcome back to Freaky Food Friday. The game. And as you can see, C is in the hot seat. That's right. I'm hosting the show. Mm -hmm. Another row of freaky fruit before us. Freaky fruit. Freaky fruit before us. And as you can see, my lovely quarantine hair right now. Because you can't get a haircut. So anyways, jump right on into this one today. You are in the hot seat. So as per show goes, we have five freaky, 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 five foods, freaky foods in front of us, which I will ask C five different questions. Oh gosh. Depending on her answer, if she is correct, I eat what's underneath the hood. I guess that's what we call it. Uh, but if she is wrong, she has to eat what's underneath. So. Hopefully, because that's not my favorite. Hopefully not. So, in the <laughs> spirit of what's going on this week, that's what your trivia is going to be about. In the spirit of what's going on Earth Day? The NFL Draft. Oh. You're right. getting asked NFL Draft questions this week. Draft questions? Awesome. Because I have not been paying any attention at all. Awesome. Even better for me. All right. Let's jump right on into the first question. Yay. Start off easy on you. Okay. How many first round picks oh, Lord. does the Bears have in the 2020 draft? Zero. Good job. <laughs> oh, God. Ready for me to eat all the rest of them. But here's the first freaky food. What is that, you ask? That's what I asked. <laughs> it is tuna on a cracker. Tuna on a cracker. But it's a uh, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? It's Worc going salty. Oh, it's going to I, You got oh. it right. Oh, why was I eating it? If you want to eat it, go for uh -oh. it. Oh, well, I don't know why I thought this is how the game worked. <laughs> tuna Worcestershire. That, Worcestershire. That might not be too bad because it's salty. And most of the things you put in tuna are salty. It tastes like tuna. Tastes like tuna. Mmm, tuna. It tastes like tuna salad. Tuna salad without the salad. Like, swear. Like, no different. It literally tastes like tuna salad. Tuna salad. Huh. That was actually pretty good. It's so fishy. Mmm. Alright, question number two. Which team? has the most number one picks in the draft overall. Most Which team has picks. had the most number one picks in the history? There you go. Is that a better way to put it You mean of all time? Yeah. Oh, Which God. team has had the most This is literally one? a shot in the dark. Um, oh, Lord have mercy. The Dallas Cowboys. Do you think the Dallas Cowboys have had the most number one picks in the history of the NFL? How many times have you seen the Dallas pick for number one? I'm going to give you a chance to change It's been a long answer. time ago. <laughs> exactly. Oh, fudge. I'm trying to really pull here. They're never great, but they never suck. You know? The Colts? Cool. Indianapolis Colts is my answer. Oddly, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if it's not Cowboys, I was like, it's gonna be Colts. Ew, what is that? What is that, you asked? That's what I asked. <laughs> that is tuna on a cracker. Well, I see that, but what's in the tuna on the cracker? That is Taco Bell mild sauce. That actually might be really good. Somehow I'm eating another one. <laughs> Ooh, and it's so soggy. Ooh. Ooh. Soggy cracker. That was his nickname in high school. <laughs> How is that soggy cracker? It tastes like a like a tuna or like a fish taco. Fish taco, people. Fish taco. Mm, smells good, actually. That's the one I knew it was going to be good. It smells good. Here we go. Oh, boy. Question number three. Oh, God. Has a kicker ever been drafted in the first round? Yes. You didn't <laughs> ask for specifics. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't part of the question. Yes. I know it was yes. But I cannot remember for life. Of the me. highest a, a kicker has ever been drafted in the NFL is number 17. And that was good old Sebastian 
with the uh, the Seahawks yeah. back in 2000. There we go. But it was still first round. <laughs> I mean, first Oh, God, you couldn't hear me. I wasn't speaking into my microphone that whole time. I'm sorry. Why am I eating all this? <laughs> Ew. <That's> exactly. <laughs> That's disgusting looking. Ew. What is that, you ask? <laughs> I ain't even gonna ask, because that looks nasty. Smell it and see if you can guess. Hold on. Is that barbecue sauce? No, that is not barbecue sauce. What is that? Try it! Quit flicking the camera off! You can't taste the tuna. Is that chocolate? That's hazelnut spread. Oh. I didn't know we had hazelnut spread. What do we do now? Hmm. Alright, let's move on to question four. This is going exactly as <laughs> I planned. Let's ask her a football question. She won't get this, right? Uh. Has any NFL teams never had a number one pick? Never had a number never one? Never had a number one pick in their history. Yes. I will give you... <laughs> <laughs> if you can name one. Now you have to name one. We knew you. You knew it's going to be yes. Obviously, the question. But can you name one? Well, obviously, if it's yes, then there There's anything. four overall. That hasn't. Never. Can that you name never. one out of those four? The Buccaneers. Oh, I'm sorry. I went with the producers on there, and they said that is incorrect. Oh, well, they don't count. The Ravens, Broncos, Jaguars, and Seahawks have oh. never had a number one pick in the draft. Fun fact. Fun fact. Now we move on to. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I got a half right. I got an answer right. Wrong. <laughs> Specifics. What is that you ask? <laughs> that is sloppy tuna. Sloppy tuna. That is sloppy Joe seasoning on tuna. Hmm, that actually might be good. It may actually be. I am getting hazelnut spread all over everything. Is that actually good? I know sloppy tuna is not a thing, but it should be. Sloppy tuna should be a thing. Ew. In this sense, it should be. Maybe just slightly less seasoning, but yeah. Because <laughs> I drowned it in seasoning. It's, it's salty. Huh. Right? There sloppy you tuna! Have salty tuna. No, sloppy tuna. Sloppy tuna. The only case that it is okay. All right, now on to the final freaky food. Are you ready for question number five? Are you ready for some questions? Last question. What's the lowest round a future Hall of Famer was drafted from? <laughs> Producers? Oh, sorry. I should have went third. You were close. It was the 14th round. Jesus, really? 14th round. Oh, I got half the number, right? At the 186th pick, Deacon Jones was selected. He don't count. He was a sleeper pick. Oh, what do I got to eat? Oh. What is that you <laughs> it looks like your poo the next morning after Papa Tuesday. Alright. This may be your poo in. in the next few hours. What is that? That is easy. What do you think that is? It smells like French vanilla coffee. Eat it and find out. And then I'll tell you what it is. That is coffee. Any guesses? <laughs> Not the stomach acid that's going to come back up in your mouth. Do you have any clue what that could be? Really? You can't pick that out? I know that taste. Anywhere. You know, I was worried that you would smell that one. That 
tastes like coffee. Like French vanilla creamer or coffee. It's actually caramel. Really? Yes, that is caramelized tuna. You have to try this. It tastes the tuna away completely. You don't taste the tuna. Wow. I've learned a few things today. Sweetness gets rid of fishy taste. Yes, it does. Whoa. There you have it. You actually did fairly well today with three out of five correct answers. What, what? Not too shabby there on another episode of Freaky Food Friday! The Gay! And hopefully we'll see you back here next week where I'll be in the hot seat and C will be the host. And with all that being said, make sure you subscribe and check out the other Freaky Foods above our heads. And don't forget to like and hit that bell. And we'll see you back here next week.